Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I will be demonstrating how to correctly resize and adjust your content for responsive layouts. Now, what you need to do first is basically have an idea of what your target screen is going to be. So for this design, what we'll do is we'll target a 760 screen. That'll be basic. Or actually, we'll do a 750. That'll be a tablet. And we'll also do a 320 for a mobile. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to basically duplicate our default group. And let's create a 720 or 750 actually. Let's call this tablet. Now we can just simply, well actually first, what we have to note is that Photoshop will create folders on top of the previous one. And with CSS screens, we have to actually have our smaller screens below our larger ones. So once we drag this below, it will correctly render. So the first step we want to do is we want to hide our default desktop and we want to begin to now change the content so that it will fit our 720 or our 750 screen. So let's go ahead now and let's actually resize a few element so the first thing we want to do is we want to take control of this button and slide it down a little bit now because 750 will basically margin within this area what we can do is now resize our text now it's very important that you do not scale text this is a very common mistake uh, w with designers what this will actually do is this will actually now corrupt your font size in your export so if we were to just basically scale the text as is this is incorrect uh, what this will do is still maintain the correct font size, but give you a smaller text area. So you'll end up having display errors. What we always suggest you do is you actually change the font size. Now, this will depend on if you're using paragraph text, which we're using here. So what we can do is we can resize the paragraph and you'll see here that it will correctly size. Now we have hyphens enabled. We want to disable this uh, just visually so that we can actually see our content better. The way to do this is to just simply go to our paragraph styles and we can just simply disable hyphenate. This will give you a better idea of how your actual content will render on a web output. Now let's just actually space this out slightly a bit more and let's increase the size of the background. So you'll see for our tablet, uh, this will basically fit our actual tablet size where the content is still relatively in view. So we don't have to do much. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually create a mobile where we're, we're going to have to change the actual title size. Now you'll note with the title, this is using label text, whereas it's actually calculating the size of the pixels. So we always recommend that you change the font size with this. So let's go ahead and let's actually create our mobile view. Okay, so we just want to drag this to the very bottom. Let's hide our tablet. Okay, so for mobile, mobile will fit within this region, relatively speaking. So what we want to do is, let's say we want to move the title down below. Now you'll note with the title, it's a bit too large to actually fit within the area. And because this is label text, we cannot actually change the size of the text element. So what we recommend you do is you actually change the font size itself. So you'll see here 32 works. Uh, let's go with 36 actually. Now 36 will fit within the actual text area, or sorry, I should say within the layout region. So this will be perfect for rendering our mobile content. Now when we're changing uh, the actual paragraph text, paragraph is slightly different. We can resize the paragraph and also change the font size to give a better rendering on mobile. So let's go ahead, let's resize the actual uh, paragraph text itself, the area, and let's actually change the font size also. Let's make this uh, 18. And let's remove the hyphenate. So you can see here now that our mobile is slightly different in its layout. And let's actually move the button. Uh, let's possibly center these. 
Now, a very important thing is that you'll note that we have a bleed in our text because we changed the font size. You always want to resize your content so it matches the actual area of your element. This is very important. This will give you a very clean uh, output in your actual export. So the last step we want to do, let's move uh, the button slightly up. Let's resize, the, or let's actually send to this. And there we go. Okay, so now what we have, sorry, let's actually change the background a bit. And there, so now we have three individual layouts, and you see that we've resized all content to match. Now, images are slightly different as well. They can resize in any way, so we could have changed this if we want. Oh, well, let's actually do it. So let's assume we wanted a, a smaller image. So images and shapes, you can change them as is. But with your actual text elements, you must change the font size or the paragraph size. You cannot scale your content or you will have display errors. So you'll see here that what we did quickly was we created three target screens, one for desktop, another for tablet, and another for mobile.